How do astronomers go from an image like this to one like this? Let me show you how it works. So we got the ground, and then you have an incoming beam of light. Say you've got your telescope, you want the beam of light. But our atmosphere has a lot of little droplets of water in it, and these effectively act as little, we call them lenslets, like this. You have this incoming light beam. I'm just gonna switch to uh, hand drawing, but pretend I'm drawing straight-ish lines, all right? But it encounters a little droplet of water, like a lenslet. And what that happens, water has a different index of refraction from the rest of the atmosphere, so it bends the ray of light. And then it keeps going, and then it encounters another one, and the water bends the ray of light again. And this keeps happening until it reaches your telescope. So as opposed to the ideal line, which is just the ideal ray of light, which is just this, you instead have a squiggly ray of light. One way that we can see this happening is in what is called a wave front. Say that you have multiple beams of light incoming, like this, or like this. The wave front is a curve that you get, or a line that you get, by drawing a line that is perpendicular to all of your incoming beams of light. So if you have nice incoming beams of light like this, that's your wave front, just that. If you've got messy shit like this, then you're gonna have something that's more like this, which is ugly, we do not want that. This wave front is caused by lenslets in the atmosphere like this. The way that we correct for that is adaptive optics. When you have a wave front like this and you're not using adaptive optics to correct for it, you get what we call a speckle pattern, which is when a point source like this gets all speckly, looks like on the left. You turn on adaptive optics, you get the image on the right. Same here. Images on the left are without adaptive optics. Images on the right are with adaptive optics. Now that you know what a wave front is, you know what's happening in the atmosphere, and you know what a speckle pattern is, let's look at this video from Gemini Observatory on Mauna Kea about how their adaptive optics works. This is Gemini's telescope. Light comes in, there's the beam, it's reflected off the primary, hits the secondary, reflected off the secondary, goes through the hole in the primary. Um, the way that Gemini's instruments rotate is that they are all on this carousel. Yeah, so each of the spokes has a different instrument in it, and in here you can rotate which instrument you're looking at. So in one of these spokes we have their adaptive optic system. The light is coming in from here. Least accurate part of this video is that this is not how we read data off a telescope. <laughs> This is not this is not how the data is run off the telescope. You don't just plug in a computer. So, this is your adaptive optics system. Your your beam hits this angled mirror. Um, that sends it in this direction. Okay. Here you have blah blah blah. Focuses it. Hits this mirror. This is what we call the deforming mirror. The DM. It's got a bunch of little fingers behind it that can very subtly adjust the shape of said mirror. All right. Then it hits this, this is a beam splitter. Some of the light goes here to this detector, some of it goes over here to this detector which actually reads the data. Currently, this is open, so adaptive optics is turned off. So now, what you're gonna see on the monitor, you see a speckle pattern. I know it's a shit quality video, but there's your speckle pattern. And then, what this shows, these little pringles that you see showing up, these are the waveforms that I told you about. These are the waveforms. As you can see, they are messy, so you get a speckle pattern. But when you close this, some computer shit takes the waveforms, and based on the waveforms that you're getting, we can tell how the atmosphere is currently affecting our incoming light. And then that information is taken to the deforming mirror and changes the shape of the deforming mirror accordingly to even out the waveforms to compensate for the shit that our atmosphere is doing. This is so fucking cool. I love adaptive optics, dude. It's so fucking cool. And then look, our image is suddenly fucking clean. Isn't it so cool? I love adaptive optics, dude. It's so cool. I'm glad you also think it's cool. I love adaptive optics. It is the coolest shit, dude.